Hi there, today I've got two French um, games for you that I've played today. So here we go, I'm not going to hang around. Um, Happy New Year for those that watch this after the 31st of December, which it is today. 31st of December 18, 2018. I'm white in both cases and it's five minute, of course, on my cell phone. I don't mind giving up my dark squared bishop. Let's now look at the possibilities for white. I'm very, I'm almost born in this position. So here I believe the best move for black is bishop c6 but I might be incorrect I'm not sure I turn the engine on for two seconds and I I suggest a move for black it won't let me do it so I switch it off on there it is there it is I've done it wrong so they play the opponent's move as well And here it's a simple win here. Um, black cannot do anything as you will soon see. Knight f6 wins a piece at least. So black's obligated to take on f6. I play g f6 which is just the threat of queen here. Which is quite menacing to black's camp. So black thinks they find an answer by playing king here. Okay, so what do I play next? I play queen here with what threat? So what am I threatening? When I play queen here, what am I threatening? To just leave my queen there for 5 moves or 10 moves or something? Why don't I just go knight g5 check? That might be better, Dave. Why do I play queen g5? Because I'm threatening queen takes pawn check. And the bishop pins the pawn from capture. So I play queen g5 and my opponent falls for the checkmate in one move. What was it? It was rook g8 and queen h5 is checkmate. Next game for you is the following French as well. So two Frenches today. Both played today. So I prefer to play e5 but I don't have to. I can play other moves too. I just ignored this um, f6 put, uh, move which looks like my move. So I've got rid of um, any sort of later on checks with a queen and picking up a piece or something like that. So I've just got rid of that by castling. Queen d2. So white, that was castling, bishop g7, so I'm having my e5 pawn attacked three times, and I'm only defending it twice, and I'm not really worried because this is going to open up this half open file for my rook, see, if I get this, and it's quite deadly for black, but I, but black still takes 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 rook e1 now of course knight queen here and i just play knight um d5 the pawn cannot recapture because of check so my opponent plays queen d6 now what did i play i played something maybe not even sound i played knight d5 now if you know a lot like the fantasy line is this Queen d5, which my opponent played. Bishop g6, okay. And the computer's on again, I forgot that. Switch off. It might be interesting. And now, if king here, of course, I'm just being silly, or pawn takes bishop, then queen takes queen, and I'm, I've am i got the queen in two rooks versus 
two rocks and two pieces. King f8. So obviously I have to, um, I don't want to swap off queens. I could just about, if this pawn, if there was a pawn here, I could just take the queen. And then after ed5, I'd have rook e8 checkmate if that was the case. So I play queen f4 here. And maybe even um, this move would be okay. I don't know, but maybe black may look at taking all my pieces off. I play rook e5. So I want to bring everything to the party, just as the inspiration of Gary Kasparov does for my play. Queen d7, that's getting in the way of the bishop, isn't it? So I go bishop h5. And now the knight's going to move, obviously. We're going to see a knight move here. Um, but if a knight move, if a knight move, obviously is not a good move. Knight here is no good because of what? Yes, you guessed it. Well done. Um, this rook check here is gaining a piece back. And then white's in a terribly won position. So h6 prevents... Um, little wee rook g5 checks so just have a look at um, black's position black cannot play here um, cannot play knight e7 of course because it's um, I would probably play this and this but I'm not entirely sure maybe even this move now or here attacking the, the pawn a number of times but black might get a lot of material so I'm not um, able to to work out exactly what oh no I've bungled that and I don't want to be longer than I'll just have to go to my game. Oh dear. <sighs> Sorry. I'll just um, reload it, won't I? I'll just reload another one. Open um, database. Just open a random game and play a few moves and then go back to game number two. That should do it, I hope, but it might not. So here we go, straight to that position, we're going to do that reasonably quickly. So here we got h6, not knight e7, so I must have overwritten it. Now here I could just go almost rook g5, can I? You work it out at home. So can I just go rook g5 here? It looks like I can check. But I'll leave that for you to have a look at. Queen g3, I'm just playing simply here of course. Now, I don't want to lose this um, this knight, this rook, this um, this bishop on h5. So, and here we've got the proverbial um, screen saver problem. So, what would you play here now for white? Here I play rook e6 and bishop e6 and rook e6. Now, it's quite sad really. Obviously, rook e8 will not do here. As rook e8 is checkmate and black cannot do anything. So that's pretty sad. And white is threatening, of course, rook f6. Not queen f6 because that uh, gives black the opportunity to win this game. So rook g8, obviously... I've got to be very careful of this move, but I'm not worried about that. I just flip this, and now the computer, that's what the computer goes. So
So here I just um, didn't have that play. Uh, my opponent played king here. Now I could play this, but I don't. I'll play the greedy line, rook f7. Now there's no threat here to rook d1 because of bishop d1. So I did actually look at rook d1 threat and thinking, oh, rook d7. So this is defending what? Rook d7 is defending queen check. And all of a sudden, I'm going to nibble this pawn or get a rook. So black plays rook d7. But black should resign here. h4, but I probably wouldn't. King h2, just being extra, extra careful. Rook g6, queen f4. And that's the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed this session today. Happy New Year for those 2019 that get to see this. Happy 2019 to all. And please come back to this channel in the new year or before. Thank you. I'll leave you with a wee, um, wee sort of a, a joke, but it's not really a joke. Uh, the, the sign was four kilometers um, four kilometers passing lane four kilometers okay away or passing away earlier if you want to pass if you want to pass someone passing away earlier